Hi guys, in this video I'm going to use R to analyze and describe and summarize a categorical or nominal feature or variable. Okay, so the uh, variable in question is treatment and let me just give you very quickly a little background as to what this is. Um, I've already named an object a vector called treatment so it's already in R and what we're going to do here is uh, shortly analyze this. But uh, basically this variable uh, data actually was arises from a survey which questioned 251 cancer patients and asked them specifically when you were diagnosed what was your first course of treatment. Okay, And the choices we're going to see in a moment for uh, the first course of treatment which is our variable are as follows. So let's let R actually help us to see what the levels of this categorical feature are. So treatment, uh, we can look at its levels or we can look at a table. So I do. And we see it, the choices were chemo, no treatment, chemo and radiation, combination, radiation, or surgery and here were the resulting frequencies and if you add these up they should add up to the 251 which was the sample size of this study okay so right off the bat we see we're learning a little bit about our categorical variable we see that it has five levels if I'm counting correctly and uh, we also get a frequency distribution of the levels. So we see that most of the 251, or I should say uh, radiation and chemo co combination was the most frequent uh, choice and uh, chemo alone was the, the least frequent. So we get a little distribution as well. Uh, if I want to see these in, as proportions I can do that easily <coughs> by dividing these <coughs> the frequencies by the 251 and or I could use the length function to do this and so here we see a frequency distribution and we should call this one a relative frequency distribution because it gives us the relative frequencies or proportions here and these guys should add up to 1 or 100 percent and again we see that keep radiation kibo combo was the highest our most frequent choice and chemo was the least frequent and uh, we also get to see that th we see that 30 percent of the responders chose this uh, first course of treatment whereas 17 and a half percent chose surgery and so on and so forth okay so we get a nice breakdown of the distribution of our categorical or nominal variable. Okay. Now what if we want to visualize this? Uh, well we have a couple choices but the, the, the go-to choices here are pie charts and bar charts for this type of variable. So let's first make a very simple pie chart. So pie and then within the pie we're going to do the table. So it's going to use these frequencies to build up the slices of the pie. And we get a very simple looking pie chart here which is telling us it's very similar if not exactly the same rather story as the tables here were okay so here we see that this was the biggest slice and chemo alone was the smallest and the others were pretty close to each other no treatment being 22.7 percent okay uh, we could of course title this chart and change these colors and pull out a slice and do all kinds of fancy things but I don't want to focus on that I just want to focus on um, exploring this feature and some tools that are available to us you could look into any one of these functions that I'm using um, uh, by typing help and the name of the function in between the parentheses to get more documentation on uh, ways you can actually uh, tweak the pie chart and tweak any of these or, or learn other options or arguments that are available but let me move on I also want to create a bar chart and uh, let me actually create a new graphics window that's what this will do 
So you see I get a new graphics device and it's active. So let me just kind of pull this so I don't get, I'm not, I just did this so that when I make the bar chart, it doesn't overwrite, which is by default what happens, the pie chart. Okay, so I'm going to make a bar chart here. So bar plot, and then again, table treatment. That should get us a bar chart. And if you pull it a little wider, give it enough space for the names of the levels for treatment to pop, to pop down here, you'll see that once again, the same story is being revealed. Now, be careful here with a bar plot. This is not a histogram. There's no order inherent in the levels of this variable. So uh, the, this bar could have been first, and this could have been last, or any which order. It just chose the order by uh, alphabetical. OK, so here are some things you can do when you have a categorical feature and you want to explore it a little. Bar charts, pie charts, frequency tables, and relative frequency tables. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Uh, once again, be sure to check out the rest of this playlist where I go through numerous topics in basic stats and applied statistics. Thank you. Have a great day.